So our next project is called the Mushroom Fairy House. It's really simple to put together. Um, step one, cut the pop-up box. With the tab on the left hand side, fold all the score lines as valley folds, apart from the top crease, which is for the fairy, which is for the fairy cutout. This needs to be a mountain fold. Okay, so tab on the left hand side, and they are all valley folds. So we're folding them all over to create those V's, like that. Apart from the one that has the fairy in, and that is a mountain fold. That's right. Yep. So then all you're going to do is you're going to glue. Well, I'm going to do this open actually. So you've got these pieces here. These are your grass and your um, cut the grass in the middle strips. So your grass is going to glue over the grass on here. You then have a mushroom house that you build and you put on there. So let's glue those two bits down quickly. I haven't done the mushroom house because it's pretty straightforward. It's very straightforward. You cut the pieces out, you stick them together and you glue them onto here. So I just get that skin off my glue again. And we are going to glue those very roughly in place. You will be far more precise than I am. And just having these two little pieces meant that you didn't have to cut the whole thing in green to get the colour of the grass. So I asked them to put an extra little file in there for the these two little pieces. So your mushroom then goes on there. Then it says um, cut the mushroom house and stick it together. And then you've got your middle bits. So you're going to bend the tabs back and I would actually make the box up at this point. There are lots of other little embellishments on this project as well that I haven't used on mine because I wanted to personalise it for my granddaughter. So that's why mine isn't over embellished, the finished one. But you can really go to town if you want to. It's as much or as little as you want it to be. So we've stuck that down. So now we've got our box facing that way. Okay. So then the first grass is going to go in there and the tabs are going to glue on the inside of your box. So your tabs bend backwards and you put your glue on. This is really simple. You pro most of you will probably have made a pop-up box like this before. So it's really simple. You're just going to slot these into place like that. Get yourself a pair of tweezers or something that you can just manipulate those tabs into place with. And again, you're going to make sure that they're dry before you go on to the next step. So I'm just gluing those very roughly in place, but you will be far more precise. Like that. Then your middle one. So you start with your deepest one. Then you work down in height of the grasses. Your next one then sits in front of there. So we are going to put glue on here, like that. And then your narrowest one, or your, like that, shortest one height-wise, if you like. I'm definitely losing my words now. <laughs> you are going to put in front of that one and then I used a font from inside the Scan and Cuts memory it's one that's in all of the Scan and Cuts right from the uh, CM600 and I just decorated the front and then some really teeny teeny tiny flowers that I cut out and just decorated on the grass so it looked like there were wild flowers growing so your that tab is going to glow in the front of in front of that one and then you decorate your box up and when it's all decorated it will look something like this but it will have your spin on it which is very exciting